Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ibel Greek Antua. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. Okay. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or can call me on any of these numbers, okay? Um today I'm gonna to be showing you how to actually uh, design your tech grid software which I have actually uh, come across. Uh, the detailing is actually very very great uh, i'm going to click on new page and then uh, i'll come to my view and i'll switch here to sketch part view and i'll come to sketch part here and i'll click on sketch staircase and then i'll click here and i'll click here now you can see uh this is self-designing uh all i need to do is just change some of the few values here the software is actually very very uh far to actually uh, design uh, and it's actually very easy to actually work with now you can see uh, along the x direction is 500,600 uh, the width is actually uh, um, sorry along the y is 2800 okay so um, I'll go down here okay you can see the waist of stairs is 150 i'm going to leave it as it is uh number height of riser is 140 here i'll make it 150 and then uh the width of tread i'm going to make it uh, 300 uh let's go down here you can see um here the geometry uh set of stairs so i'm going to switch this to true uh, in order for me to be able to make changes on the staircase. Uh, if I leave it on false, I cannot uh, make any changes on it. Now, uh, if I switch this uh, right stop, I can switch the direction of the stairs. Uh, I can make it, uh, you can see, uh, right below. I can switch to left uh, uh, below, constrain uh, depending on how it comes in your architectural drawing. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as right top. Uh, let's go down here. So you can see the reinforcement design. Uh, bottom, you can see the size of reinforcement. You can actually change the size of reinforcement. And you can play around uh, here with the spacing of your reinforcement. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to leave it as this here for the sake of this class. Uh, my lapping length is 750 which is okay now you can see the deflection check is actually okay uh, but if uh, because uh, it will actually run the design for you uh, whenever you make any changes on uh, these uh, information that are here uh, it would make it will make changes immediately so let's uh, let's say I make this uh, y8 and then I make this y8 and let's check our deflection it is still going to be okay you can see the deflection uh, uh, check not okay uh, because I got a question from someone asking me how do you check if your structural member has failed or it has passed uh, so this is the easier way to know if your structural member has passed or it has failed uh, you definitely see it here uh, on each of the structural members that you are designing be it slab whether it's a slab or column or foundation or uh whatever you are actually designing okay even if it is a beam uh you always see it here if it has passed or you tell you your check is okay okay so um if you already love what you're seeing make sure you like this video just give it a thumbs up okay uh subscribe to this channel it's actually free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos I post videos like this on a weekly, sometimes on a daily, just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design, okay? Uh, you can DM me, you can call me if you have any challenges or you have any questions to ask, okay? This is my WhatsApp contact, or you can call me on any of these numbers, okay? Um, okay. Now, let's sketch here. Let's say I'm adding another this way. So you can see what we have here. So another is actually added here. And then the properties for these, you can actually change that as well, just like the way we did 
for the earlier one okay so uh, you can play around with this and play with the number of steps uh, with the number of uh, steps here let's say i make this uh, nine okay you're going to see it's taking effects down there uh provided we, we change this to true let's confirm if this is also true uh, you can see the check is okay uh, i want to check um so our uh -huh, setup here uh, make this true so it will take effect now uh, uh, it will change to nine okay uh, so if you look at this if you count this you can see we have nine here but here we are actually having up to ten uh, uh, you can see what we have here and then I can insert and I click on yes I will close this you can see, are you sure you want to exit automatic staircase dialog box without uh, box without to insert in staircase? I have inserted the staircase already. So uh, to view that design, all I need to do is just to come to prepare and print, and then I'll come to calculation sheets. Or I'll click down here, yeah, on this drop down, prepare reinforcement calculation, uh, reinforce concrete design calculation sheet. So if I click on that and I click on prepare calculation sheet, uh, it has prepared uh, the calculation sheet, uh, basic design information that are actually used for this. Okay. So uh, make sure you like this video. Just give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. It's actually free. Click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever I post videos. I post videos like this one weekly, based sometimes on daily, just to encourage us many that actually want to have a deeper insight.